Well, let's take our Bibles to Philippians chapter number one this morning. We're just going to cover two verses uh, out of our message from Sunday morning. Uh, if you remember, every Monday morning we do a recap of our message at the Journey Baptist Church. And if you want the full message, go to journeypd.com and uh, we have the full message there on either Facebook or YouTube. You can take the links. Uh, but what I want to cover this morning is, is the way you live for the Lord the present that God deserves. And uh, if you were in service, you remember this. I talked about the pastor's daughter who uh, shook every present. The bow falls off. And, and she puts the bow on her head and looks at her daddy and says, Daddy, look, I'm a present. And and that was just kind of like the context of of this whole idea uh, that, that Paul is going to speak in just these couple of verses. And so these are the things that we covered. I'll give you the verses in just a moment. Uh, remember, the decision to magnify God or to magnify the Lord is more than words. I think a lot of people say they will, and maybe they clean up their language a little bit, but, but really they don't magnify the Lord because they don't have time to magnify the Lord. Uh, they're busy with other things. And really the decision to magnify God in, in life is the precursor to what Paul will say about living for the or, or, or dying for God and magnifying him that way also. In fact, uh, really the, the dying for the Lord is the follow through from a great life lived for the Lord. And a golf swing, you don't swing until you hit the ball, you swing through the ball. After contact, they call it the follow through. Uh, in baseball, when you swing that bat and you hit the ball, you don't stop the swing at the contact with the ball, you follow through. And, and uh, the Christian life is living for the Lord. It's magnifying the Lord in life. And then when we uh, pass away when we when our life is over we get to magnify the Lord there as well and and like I said just like a good swing this finished off with a good follow through uh, a life well lived for the Lord we follow through with dying for him listen to the verses verse number 20 says according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed but that with all boldness as always so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. And then verse number 21, he says, For to me, to live is Christ, and to die is gain. And so I want to encourage you with those two verses. Uh, Paul tells us that for the believer, if we're going to live, we're going to live for Christ. It's going to be about him, not about me, and then just claim to live for him. It's going to be about him. And then the natural follow-through will be that we die in a way that honors and glorifies him. And so live or die, we're going to magnify the Lord. No matter what, I want to magnify the Lord. That should be the heart's desire of every believer. Let that help you start off a week where we magnify the Lord. Have a great day.